everyone, what's up? Today I'm just recording a quick video for you guys talking about some common roadblocks, more particularly three common roadblocks and how you can crush through them, and keep going with your goals and what you're doing. Obviously, if you're an entrepreneur and you're a business person, and just in life in general, you're going to come across a lot of roadblocks and you need to learn how to crush them efficiently, effectively in order to keep moving forward, right? Because at the end all be all, um, to be successful, it's not about managing the good things. It's about managing the bad things, and getting past those. So let's dive right into it. So the three common roadblocks that I've seen a lot with people, both people that I'm mentoring and everyone in general in terms of entrepreneurship um, and more specifically offering services to people are these three things. First of all, not knowing what services to sell and then who to even sell them to, who to target to sell these services to. Second is the fear of not being able to, to deliver. People not knowing, hey, can I even do this? Do I know what I'm doing? I don't know what I'm doing. I don't even think I'll be able to bring results. And third, kind of leading in from that, is uncertainty in yourself, whether that's uncertainty with sales, uncertainty with delivering again, uncertainty with um, being able to charge someone, just, just not knowing certain things, how to do them. We're going to cover all three of these, how to smash through these roadblocks, and how to keep going and focusing on the things that matter the most. Starting with the first one, roadblock number one, which is not knowing what services to sell and then who to target. We're first going to focus on who to target and how to figure out who to target. So really picking a niche in one specific market is extremely important when you're starting a business because you don't want to be in a red ocean. Um, like dentists is a big one. A lot of people go for dentists. And there's nothing bad with that, but think about it. Like, there is kind of something bad with specifically dentists because so many people go there. You got to go down more. So how do you kind of figure this out? A simple way to crush through this barrier is look at this chart. What is something that you're experienced in or you're interested in? Write a few of them down. What's a service that's in demand right now? What are a lot of people looking to do? What are a lot of people looking to accomplish? Easy way to do that is um, going to Google and um, Google keywords. I'll show you here in a minute. I'll actually go and do that um, right now and I'll show you. Third, lucrative market. Is the market big? or Not as a big, sorry. Does the market have a lot of cash flow? Is it an expensive market? Stem cell therapy, expensive market. $5,000 for these procedures. You bring in them one procedure, you're set if you charge them $1,000 a month or more. You want to have a combination of all three of these. And that's your sweet spot. That is who you want to sell to. Something you're experienced in or interested in, a lucrative market, and an in-demand service. These are what you want to look at, and that's where your sweet spot is going to be. And I'll, I'll walk you through this here in a minute myself. Now, just jumping on to the next point, what services can you actually sell? If you're struggling to figure out what you can sell, first of all, before I show you the specific services, at the end of the day, you just want to be solving a problem. Once you've picked out your sweet spot and found your sweet spot, find a problem in that sweet spot and learn to solve that problem, and you'll be set. That's it. Okay? So from that, these are some examples, SEO, Facebook ads, social media marketing, email marketing, conversion rate optimization, content marketing, copywriting, video branding, branding and consulting. Just some examples, but mainly look to solve a problem. That's what you need to do. If you're still stuck after these two points, it's okay. The end all be all, you want to learn how to get paid first, then learn the skills to deliver. So at the end of the day, having the willpower and the proper mindset first is key and i'll talk about this later on but it's very key to master that first and then learn the skills you can always learn the skills later you can learn marketing whenever it's not gonna it's not gonna go away it may change but it's not gonna go away you can always learn marketing developing strong willpower mindset sales even sales not um maybe more than marketing but learn how to get paid first then learn the skills to deliver Ask for which market to sell to, test it first. Just test a few markets, right? Just, just, just dabble in some things. Figure something out. See what interests you. Try it out. Try a variety of things. And then pick and choose from there as you go. So just to kind of show you how this can all work, going back to this, finding your sweet spot, you can find these all right now. So if you go to Google Keywords... So you can go here, Google Keywords. You'll have to log in with your Google AdWords account. So 
got a lot of accounts. Where is where the freak is my account even? Go. So while this loads up, I'm gonna load up another one. Oh come on, what is going on? There we go. Okay, this is loading up. Let's go. So there's two things, Google Keywords, right? And let's just go ahead and go through all of this. Okay, cool. Search volume, keywords, anything, okay? So let's just go in and type in real estate. Okay, get started. From here, Here you go. Real estate. 150,000 clicks, 2.7 million impressions. You can start to see here. Um, you can even find negative keywords. You can start to see here, as well as ad groups, um, start loading. Max cost per click is $3. You can see all the different costs of things, the locations of where it's going on in the United States. And you can add a lot of different conversion metrics, value per, per conversion. Um, can start to see the, the amount of clicks you're getting and whatnot, right? On top of that, on top of that, going to Google Trends is another thing that you can go and look at, all right? This is where you can see and analyze the popularity of different niches, different topics, different sub-niches, everything, okay? So once again, let's go with the term or a topic of, let's just go ahead and dentists, okay? Pull up a lot of stuff. Oh, so it's up. Interest by time. All right. And you can go um, a lot further back, actually. I clicked the wrong one. Right here. 2004 to the present. You can see the interest over time, while this loads up, of dentists. Anything else? They're pretty much same, kind of, kind of the same. If anything... It's maybe going down a little bit, which is kind of funny. Um, you can see the top states' interest in dentists and whatnot, right? You can compare it to different things. You can you can edit them and, and add different things. Like this is very powerful to see what's what, what's interested in and whatnot. Like I guarantee you, if I type in social media. marketing look at look i guarantee you the trend's gonna go up yeah what did i say it's gonna go up 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 it's probably gonna keep going up all right so same thing you can you can see who's finding it the most kansas all right so anyway there's a ton of sub regions you can explore this yourself okay on top of that going to a site called spy food it's free um if i log in real quick it's completely free, but if you log in, you can get a little bit more stuff if you just make an account with them, which I like to because I can get more stuff. So you can find SEO research, okay? competitors, keyword groups, ranking history, backlinks, and all that stuff. Okay, you don't, It doesn't really matter, but ad history and stuff, keyword research, list builder, and tracking. Okay, Same stuff. You can figure out who's searching the most of the stuff, and most of the stuff is free. Okay? So check out SpyFu and Google Keywords as well as Google Trends to figure out, all right, what's going on? Trending searches, you're in search, so on and so forth. Okay, You can research a lot with that. So that's how you can really find your sweet spot. Okay, Just by doing a little bit of research, it doesn't take that long. But I usually start with experience or interest, figuring out a lucrative market, and then going and researching, hey, is this in demand? All right? Cool. So... Like I said, learn to get paid first, and then learn the skills to deliver. Second roadblock, fear of not being able to deliver. Now, this is a really big one, but a lot of people don't, like, they're really afraid. They, they feel like they don't know what the heck to do. They don't know how to deliver their certain services, and, and they're just afraid if they'll ever learn how to do it. You know what? Figure out the how later. 
The key is mastering your mindset, your willpower, and your discipline. Being able to sell your services and reach the market is what you need to know how to do. You'll figure out how to do it later. Trust me. Figure out how to sell your services and reach the market. Okay. How to deliver the service, though, just some practical feedback with that. There's a lot of options. Partner up and outsource all the work to an outsourcing company. Or buy the services separately just from different vendors or just learn how to do it yourself. There's a lot of resources out there. The world is full of information that you can find on Google, just like I just showed you. You can find a lot of information on how to do it yourself for free. Trust me. But the end all be all, what's the real worst case scenario? The real worst case scenario is that you sign a client, you get paid, you flop, but you learn something, all right? But don't let the fear of being able to deliver the service hold you back because the fact is you can learn it. The best way to learn it is doing it yourself. Go out there, start reaching out to people, start talking to people. You'll land a client even if it's for $200. Hell, you'll learn something. Trust me. Third and final roadblock is uncertainty in yourself. Now, this is a really big one. A lot of people are uncertain in themselves. A lot of people don't feel like they can do it. They, they, they're just stuck. Okay, and it's truly a really big roadblock, just a perfect word to describe it. Can't get around it. And it's natural if you believe these things. It's natural if you believe that you're not good enough at sales. It's natural to believe that you're not good enough to deliver the service. It's natural to believe that you're not good enough at marketing. It's definitely natural to believe that you're not good enough to charge thousands of dollars a month. And the fact is, you are good enough. Become good enough. All you need is commitment to change. You may not be good enough right now, right? But you, you are and you can be through commitment to change, all right? The, the fact is you believe these things because you probably don't, you probably don't think you deserve them, right? You're like, I don't, I don't deserve to charge people thousands of dollars a month. Okay, well, change that fact. Make yourself be deserving of it. How? learn and apply and just offer free trials and offer paid trials and just learn as much as possible and start to dive in super, super deep to understand your niche and your market. Ask them questions, learn more about them. That doesn't take that much effort and work. Maybe it does. Even if it does, you're going to learn a lot and then you'll be more deserving of it, right? You just need commitment to change, right? Oh, I, I don't know enough about this stuff. I can't do it. Okay, well, there's your problem. Solve that problem. That's it. Oh, how do I solve it? It's, it's not very difficult. If someone says, I'm not good enough at sales, okay, learn to become good enough at sales. Oh, well, how do I do that? There you go. All right. If you just start reading and piecing together different information and topics, all right, watching some videos here and there, starting to piece together different topics, you can piece together what it takes to become a good salesperson and how to sell people. But remember, when you're researching, when you're looking at things, come to your own conclusions based off of the facts. A lot of people out there lie. A lot of people out there mislead you. A lot of people out there tell you the wrong things. At the end of the day, when you research this stuff, what you want to do, essentially, research them, figure out what other people are saying, go out there and practice it yourself, okay? Then come to a conclusion based off of that. Come to a conclusion based off of your own findings and off of the truth. Same with all these things. It's as simple as that. The world is abundant of information. You need to determine what's true and what's false, okay? You are good enough. Become good enough. And to do that, you just need commitment to change. So I hope this video helped. Short, straightforward to the point. Join the Business Mastery Group on Facebook. Okay, it's called the X Factor, the Business Mastery Group. Um, if you can't find it, let me know. But I'll probably put a link under this video as well. And the fact is, those are the three keys and the three roadblocks. Three keys to get past those roadblocks and the three roadblocks that really stop a lot of people. I hope this helped you guys. I hope you can see how to kind of crush through these roadblocks. And, and it's not, it's not hard common sense a lot of it but the fact is common sense is not common practice so with that i hope you guys got something from this video you join the group hope i can help you out more and i'll talk to you guys all soon peace out